You a vlogger, facing over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh why me, oh why me 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 Hi my ninjas, how are you doing? It's your girl or I'm Nisha Bajor aka Miss Fair for Call Bring Back for our Entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, I'm most definitely welcome. Please do make sure that you subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you and do not forget follow me on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter is at boldly on wow me. Now my ninjas, we do have a masterclass literally in four days. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to meet you guys. Now I'll go ahead and ask you guys to do me a favor. There's so many people that I've actually paid and unfortunately we were not doing that thing of whether if you're going to be coming um, live or you're going to actually be, uh, you know, attending online. So if you know that you've actually paid, please just go ahead and on the same number that you sent proof of payment, please send that I'm going to be attending live or I'm going to actually be online, right? Um, so that we can just know because we're about to create the group. So those that are going to be coming, obviously. Obviously, you guys know that uh, you're going to uh, definitely see, like, you know, there'll be two different groups just so that we can protect the location of where the masterclass is going to be. The masterclass is only 390 rands, the cheapest that I'll ever have it. The details I'm sure will be here. You make a payment and then after that, we'll take it from there. You send proof of payment, but also please do mention whether if you're going to be attending live or you're going to actually be coming. Now, my ninjas... Ciao. I know this was supposed to come during the weekend, but guys, my son is here. I was like, oh, I mean, you do need to rest and spend some time with this child because this week, when I tell you a girl is booked, your girl is literally booked, okay? So basically, that is the reason why, honestly, because I'm just like, nah, we, we need to just spend time with the baby. <laughs> but anyway, ninjas, do you guys remember... When I told you that ikhona into ofo ngolirwe sidambe nizothanga nijelanga but ikhona into ofo This thing is so hot Do you guys remember man When I tell you something is fishy with this man I told you over the weekend, Michelle was trending because she is associated or alleged to be associated with one another rich uh, man from Zimbabwe as well. I think we're going to talk about that in the next video that is going to come. I don't want to dwell too much into that because the one that I actually want to focus on is this nonsense that I actually saw happening between Leroy Sidambe and Musa Kawula. Okay. Now, before I actually do play this audio, because I am going to play the audio, you guys better relax. I need to go ahead and actually just refresh some people's minds. I know ain't nobody, it's not everyone that is into this Mgauzi chende, but I am, so I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys what basically happened, right? So guys, I think it was last year. Musa Kaula trends because he basically says that Michali is dating a married man. He comes out with receipt and everything. It was a slip that was showing that Leroy Dambe bought Michali furniture, right? Sharp. There were allegations that it was Leroy's wife that actually leaked the slip and everything. And Leroy's wife is Mary Jane Sidambe. One thing I can go ahead and tell you guys is that there's so much... I don't know. I mean, I would say I'm proud of her, but at the same time, I really don't know her. I don't know her mental state. I don't know if she's coping or not. Um, necessarily not how I deal with things, but for someone that actually dealt with the situation the way she dealt with it, I do have to say that I respect her because that's something that I can never, ever, ever do. Okay. That woman never said, bim. Not even a pump, nothing. She bo bom okay? That woman said nothing. Michali was dragged for months. She trended for weeks. Every single day, people were attacking her. That girl went through it. For this man, they call the Royce Dambe. She did. Now, when I tell you guys that this 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 this, this woman, right? 
Umishali, she went through it for this Leroy Dambe guy. Most of us did not know who Leroy Dambe was, um, but we did get to know about him the time that, you know, obviously he was now trending with Michali. Um, I I think that if if there's anything that maybe Mary Jane did and dealt with any situation, she must have just dealt with it, um, you know, through the courts because we've had allegations of her basically going in to say that um, she needs the car, blah, blah, blah. But from her own mouth... Mm, and again, her account is private. Trust me, I have requested even with my fake account that woman is not accepting just anybody. So I guess, you know, that is just how it is. Now, basically, remember, guys, this is very important. Musa Khan is the one that broke the story that these two are having an affair, which then went on to literally, like, have Michali, um actually attacked for weeks and months, right, Sharp? Then Leroy and Michelle decided to have their uh, relationship public. They were traveling a lot. There was a lot of similarities that we actually saw when it came to Michali and Leroy's wife. At one point, there were some people that actually thought that, wait a minute, is this man trying to turn Michali into his wife? You know, um, but yeah, there were certain similarities that you just really could not. Um, how can I say this? Like you couldn't refuse because they were definitely there, you know. Um, and then after that, um, basically what then happens is Musa Kala then comes out and says that Leroy Stembe gave him 20,000 so that he can stop talking about Michali. Because at this point, it had gotten to a point where uh, Musa Kala was out there actually having petitions so that Michali will lose brands deals. That's how bad he was after Michali. And the petition actually did well, hey? It got over 5,000 signatures, if I'm not too mistaken. So this wasn't something small. He just failed, but he really tried it. That she's removed from all campaigns, doesn't work with the companies that she was working with, this, that, and that, right? Sharp. Then the third part, next thing, Musa Kaula comes and says he has got a big ball here and he claims that Michali actually beat him with his phone, her phone, because she went to Leroy's office and she actually got Musa Kaula there, if I'm not mistaken, right? Again, this is somebody that outed this relationship. This is somebody that even after they paid him 20000 he chowed the money and then after that he still came online to humiliate said Leroy Stambe who sent him the 20000 rands because he still went on to continue and actually even revealed that you paid me. Did you really think I was not going to talk? He's now at uh, uh, Leroy's office. Michali gets there. This is after um, Musa Kaula insulted Michali's mom and called her the B word. Wait. This man has instigated so much when it comes to Michali. I don't even want to lie. He really honestly has. And then. Leroy goes to Dubai with one of his friends, or rather with his friends, and when they are there, there's a life, he's trying to kiss this other girl, which he did, I think he's on the side and stuff, the way he was holding her. Was it not the same Musakala that came out and outed all that chente? Sharp. Today, it's still the same Musakala that is calling Leroy and having a conversation like this. Let's play that. I'm waking up to news that Michelle is in Miami, Florida, and the one night. And what? So, I'm saying I'm waking up to news. Um, Michelle, you say Miami and one night. So, well, because we haven't spoken in a while. I thought maybe you guys fixed things. Well, that's what I was hoping. Yeah, but um, the, the amount to my right guys, I think you should understand. Do we always have to be together when traveling? I don't know. Amount to my girls, trips. But I need to learn a lot, but I've always been hoping that you guys are going to fix things ever since I'm like, you know what, maybe you're going to fix things. No, 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 no,
There's nothing wrong. I mean, I was just in Namibia last week. I was in um, thing in Dubai two weeks ago. Um, well, obviously it's wrong, but it doesn't necessarily mean meaning was high number. I guess even that, I mean, no, it okay here. Don't do that. Hmm. Man, you're about to travel in a land that you with me. Loban lab put it low. Yeah, what's in Zimbabwe? I have no idea. If I if I travel, I should be on fair. We are fair, but oh, muto aki. I don't know. I'm not really. I'm too much in invested into a relationship at the moment. Yes, yes. No, that's fine. I'm yeah. I just thought I, I should check in because you know we haven't spoken in a while. As long as my name yeah. right, my name right together, and that's all that matters. No, 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 no. no. Me and Michali are best each other. Yes, right. All right. Yep. That's yeah, fine. Then uh, call me sometime. Don't be a stranger. I want to have a toxic, hmm? a toxic um, um, person like me and Mary Jane. Yeah, in the end. I don't want to have a toxic thing like me and Mary Mm-hmm. I don't care who you are. If you love me, you are not going to be close or friends with someone that has tried to destroy me. I And this is the thing, guys. Like, this is me. And I, I, like, I literally just, I live by the sword. I'll die by it, okay? I've got my own principles. And there are certain things that I just will not do. And you cannot convince me. I remember um, I had this someone that, you know, we were a bit close, not really close, but, um, you know, she's someone that we used to talk from time to time, but she, I had her numbers on my phone, so she could be able to see my statuses because, you know, I'm, I considered her to be someone that would be close. Now, she is a lady we've never physically met, is someone that, we, you know, would see each other online, would talk about this and that, right? One day we're talking, and then she says that, yeah, yo, so I was actually watching uh, my daughter's channel, right? She, sent, she says, in him and um she was talking about how yeah no i do enjoy her content blah 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 and i'm like okay what i want to find out is what do you enjoy about her this is someone that tried to destroy me she just failed decimally failed but she tried to destroy me she tried that girl tried she just failed you as someone that is close to me, you wouldn't even want to watch her channel for you to even like it or like her content. I don't care about the other stuff. But for the mere fact that this person tried to destroy me, it's very different, right? She basically says, well, I don't enter people's beefs and stuff, which is true. And I'm like, no, but there's someone that not, me and her, we do not mess with. Um, and uh, there's another girl that messes with her that I obviously mess with. And I don't have a problem with it because that girl never went out of her way to try to destroy me. This is different. This is not someone that was just gossiping. This is not someone. This is someone that was trying to literally take me down. To a point where we're in court. We're still in court, honey. Okay, I'll give you guys an update. So... I literally, um, I, I told her because I was like, no, I'm going to tell her. I'm like, you know what? I will never trust you again from now because you cannot love me and still be someone that enjoys watching content of someone that tried to destroy me. There's no way. So it means there's something about you that I missed. And I definitely am telling you that from today, it's over. I don't want anything with to do with you. And I deleted the numbers that day. Not because I feel like I'm proud or whatever, but you can't go out there and try to destroy the life of someone I love. And I'm still going to be associating with you because why? And I may be wrong or whatever, but it's a different situation in terms of if I don't mess with someone, maybe we had a fight, we had a fallout. I don't have a problem with you being friends with that person or you even being close with that person. I don't care. But not someone that tried to destroy me. So why am I saying this? What business that Leroy Dambe have with the men that try to destroy the woman he claims to love? Bang, you should tell me. What business does he have with Muscala? To a point where Muscala is so comfortable, you can call him and even record. He's even out there still. Okay, so let's say Musakala did not record this. And then he came out and said that, well, Leroy and Michali back together, blah, blah, blah. Because the way that he was talking, it's as if these two are still together, they're just private about it. I do remember watching Michali's vlog, um, ka, ya, ya, Valentine's shoot and whatever. She went home to like roses upon roses upon roses. And I was asking myself, who bought you this? I'm like, is it the same uh, Leroy? And she seemed very delighted. I don't know if she bought them herself. I really don't. But I was like, 
I saw her buy, I think I don't know if it's her friend or her cousin, flowers in the vlog. But when she got home, it was like bouquets upon bouquets upon bouquets and also gifts. So I was like, wait, like, is she back with Leroy? What is happening? I do not know. But the way that Leroy is talking... It's as if these two are still seeing each other. He even went to a point of actually saying that if she's with that guy, then we are fab. Which means you can only fabulous someone that you're with. And then he ended up going on to correct himself to say, oh, Mundua, okay? which means that it's her person. And I'm like why are you even in it in the first place why are you even telling your business out there on top of that she goes he goes to my and still talks about give me an hour which means he must be wanting to call her to confirm or whatever and in that audio if you guys heard he spoke about girls trip and whatever and next thing i just i remember i watched the audio first before i actually saw the pictures on michelle's um 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 uh, instagram or even the the stories right wherein you can see that okay she's with a girlfriend that side so girl's trip that he was talking about it still shows that these two must definitely still be in communication because how did he know before we knew If Michelle knows what's good for her, she will just stay the hell away from that man, which is what she should have done in the first place. That man is bad news. That's one thing I'll tell you now. That man is bad news. Next thing, he now removed. He's no longer private. His account is now public. He's now someone that talks to the blogs. Oh, Leroy, where, where did we know Leroy from? How, da, who da, how does he know to talk to bloggers and, 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 and blogs, blog pages? If not for Michali, how many people would even know about him? But I guess he's going to be Michali's karma shame. I guess he's definitely going to be Michali's karma because this is just embarrassing. I don't even want to lie. It's actually quite humiliating. And do you guys remember when I actually said to you guys that, guys, I don't think Leroy is 100%. Hey? I think there's something going on. I mean... One screw may be a bit loose. I don't know. But remember, I, I, I spoke about it. And I was talking about it because I had actually seen a video of him. I think he was dancing or he was doing something with another guy. I don't know, man. But it was like there was a birthday celebration or something. It was very weird for me when I looked at him. I was like, is this guy okay? But if it's also just a matter of all this is Dululu and it's in his head, then he would actually be a bit more dangerous than even I thought, okay? But anyway, ninjas, I love you guys and I do want you guys to go ahead and comment down below what you guys think. What business do you think Uluroy actually has with having a relationship with a whole Musa Kaula that tried to destroy? He's the one that outed them that they are having an affair. He's the one that got paid and uh, the money was now taken out. And then again, the other part that I never understood, Musa Kaula went out with a bump. He was beaten up, but he never opened the case. But when Mushendiki beat him down, he did try. I don't know if he did. I think he did go and open a case, but he didn't have that gumps. Yes, the dress were on the floor, but that gukum <laughs> was not there. And this time he gets beat by a Michali and um, he doesn't open a case. I don't know. But equal in the offer, guys. But one day we'll find out. That's one thing I can promise you. We'll find out exactly what is going on. I do hope that they did not use Umichali Shem for clout. Because it would be something that is just. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. But for me, equal in the offer, guys. I told you there was something off with that guy. And look at this now. But anyway, go ahead and comment below what you guys think of this whole situation. From more I mean, I love you guys. Stay blessed. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye, ninja.